shit, man. I come down to the motherfucking precinct, right? To get a restraining order like my, my mom's asked me to do against Brandy, right? Because I don't want to hurt the bitch. That's, that's just straight. I don't want to hurt the bitch, right? But I go up in there, they gives me no respect in the precinct, man. You know, they laughing like, oh, she trying to hurt you, huh? They don't believe it, man. Like, I'm bullshitting them. Yo, my car. Short my motherfucking car. Oh. Uh, oh. She broke my shit down in front of the police station. Oh, she broke me down to my brake pads. Oh, look at my rear view shit. Oh, this, where's the justice? Officers, where's the fucking justice? Ah. This is bullshit. As soon as a, as soon as a person takes the law in his own hands, he's fucking wrong. And I can't fucking go nowhere with no ties. Damn. Hey. All right, y'all, let's talk about it. Y'all know the movie, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. And that's really, the scene you probably seen, that's like my favorite part of the movie. Y'all know that scene gets me every time. But you can't lie. Garnell brought that on himself. He literally brought that on himself. Like, it, she, that girl told him, like, no, I'm not the one to mess with. Don't play around. If you really in this, you in this. Got that boy paranoid looking over his shoulder every which way. Now, the thing I never understood about this scene, and I think that's why it's so funny to me, is how in the hell is it in front of the uh, police precinct and nobody seen her did all this? Even if it wasn't her and she hired somebody else to do it, somebody had to see where's the cameras. Like, you know what? This movie came out, what, 1990, early 2000? I'm, I'm a 97 baby, so I'm, I don't know. But anyway, I ain't no way nobody didn't see. Her or somebody go in front and just vandalize this car, smash the windshield, broke the broke the mirrors off. Wait, she took what three of the, out of the four tires? Now that's disrespectful. <laughs> Why would you take three or four tires? You know I can't go on that one tire. Hold on, I gotta go back for it. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> she did take. <laughs> she took three of the four tires. Why would you take three? None that night is you. My man just took. <laughs> You might as well have took all my tires. Why leave me with one? You know, I can't, you know, damn well I can't go nowhere with that one tire. That's just disrespectful. I thought you just took all of them. I had Martin breaking down in front of the precinct. But she left me, she broke me down in front of the precinct. I can't even go nowhere because I ain't got no darn tires. Bruh, look at that. No windshield. I thought she just smashed it. He ain't got no windshield. It's gone. It's history. No, no longer existing. Out of here. Window gone. Patch the window gone, the mirrors shattered, three to the four tires gone. Like she was going on a rampage, she was going dumb, going crazy. <laughs> hey, all right, hold on, my lad. She was going like this right here. I'm gonna show y'all some hold on. Nobody heard. She was just over there smashing that car. Just Hadouken! Hadouken! Ha ha ha! Hadouken! <laughs> she was in that thing with combo. Let me know y'all thought of this movie. Y'all thought was she wrong or Darnell wrong? We know we all know Darnell was wrong. If you say Darnell wasn't wrong, you might be toxic. You might be toxic supporting that type of uh behavior. You might be toxic. You know, she gave him plenty of warnings. He should have got that first hint when she woke he woke up and she was in his house cooking bacon, burning up. <laughs> <laughs> you hear burning bacon and shit. <laughs> Today, bitch, you know, dude, I'm out of here. Peace.